Today, I'm pleased to welcome President Abbas to the White House for his first visit to Washington in quite a while. Almost 24 years ago, it was on these grounds that President Abbas stood with a courageous peacemaker, then Israeli Prime Minister Yitzhak Rabin. Here at the White House, President Abbas signed a declaration of principles, very important, which laid the foundation for peace between the Israelis and Palestinians. The President and Mr. President, you signed your name to the first Israeli-Palestinian peace agreement. You remember that well, right? And I want to support you in being the Palestinian leader who signs his name to the final and most important peace agreement that brings safety, stability, prosperity to both peoples and to the region. I'm committed to working with Israel and the Palestinians to reach an agreement. But any agreement cannot be imposed by the United States or by any other nation. The Palestinians and Israelis must work together to reach an agreement that allows both peoples to live, worship, and thrive and prosper in peace. And I will do whatever is necessary to facilitate the agreement, to mediate, to arbitrate anything they'd like to do. But I would love to be a mediator or an arbitrator or a facilitator, and we will get this done. But we will be working diligently. And I think there's a very, very good chance, and I think you feel the same way. Mr. President, thank you very much.